The ASK Property Fund has closed its latest fund with a corpus of 1500 crores. This is ASK Property's sixth real estate fund and will concentrate on the top five cities and primarily invest in mid and affordable residential development projects. Amit Bhagat, the Managing Director and Chief Executive Officer at ASK Property Fund joins us now to talk about this. Amit, thanks a lot for joining in. Tell us a little bit about what the prognosis is in the mid and affordable segment. Uh, what kind of growth are we looking at? Uh, is there you know, further price appreciation that you're expecting to see? Uh, good morning, Marcha, and thank you for having me here. I think um, after a five-year lull, real estate has seen uh, its true worth because uh, we have all realized that we need a bigger house and we need a house for sure. Uh, I think the uh, pent-up demand and the five-year lull has led to uh, the uh, actual demand coming in. And I'll divide it into two parts. People who are buying land and people who are buying apartments. In apartments, it makes no sense to be an investor because you pay 5% GST and 5 to 6% stamp duty. So it is a real uh, end user demand which is coming to the apartment segment. Now, if you look at the capital available to the sector, the capital has been depleting and uh, the because after the NBFC debacle and the money available to the sector for growth is, has been very limited. Because of that, the under construction unsold inventory in every city from 29 and 36 and 47 months has fallen to 8, 12 or 15 months. Now that explains the reason for the price increase in the last one year. Because end user came back during COVID because of low interest rates and the actual pent up demand. And there was an under construction unsold inventory, which was declining. And that led to the price increase in the segment. So uh, this, uh, for the first time, we are actually very bullish on the sector because we feel that this end user demand is a sustained demand, which will stay for a longer period because the high interest rates in the home loans are transient. And these interest rates will start coming down as inflation cools down. And the end user uh, demand will continue because we are a 140 right. crore people. Yeah. Mm. Uh, Amit, hi, good morning. So, uh, two questions. One, uh, where will this, where will bulk of this money go? Will you sort of uh, uh, give it to sort of tie up with builders? Uh, will you uh, sort of look at land? Which cities are priority for you? We have the list of the uh, cities where which you are which you like, but where exactly is the maximum room for appreciation now? I think our viewers would be interested in that. Your view on that? Uh, so, go on. So I, I'll divide it into two parts. Uh, first, the appreciation part. I, I will request uh, end users not to be an investor in this segment even now, because as I explained to you, there's a 5% GST and a 6% stamp duty. So you become day one, 11% negative and rental yields are two to 3%. But having said that, when it comes to our fund, we focus on Mumbai, Pune, Bangalore, Chennai and NCR. We remain in cities and we don't go to extended suburbs. So we don't go outside the city. We focus on affordable and mid segment housing. And we primarily give money to replace the early lender or for working capital for completing the project. So we do a financial closure of the project. These are all residential mid segment projects, which are focused in growth markets, which are closer to job markets, especially white collar job creation and we ensure that the project is completed. And that is our endeavor. And we only focus on developers who are customer centric and focused on completing the projects as committed to the investors or to the buyers. You, you know, we understand the macros of uh, 140 crore people looking to buy houses in COVID and all of that, but um, the near term does not look very promising. The reason why I say this is one, because interest rates are high. Secondly, um, you know, investments in property looks like it has been front-ended, especially because of uh, the announcements that were made in the budget. So the last quarter was good. And the third part is that, um, you know, we aren't seeing a lot of jobs in the startup space or you, the job market that you speak about. And that's largely because of the funding winter that we've seen. So would it then not make sense to deploy money later than just now? So I think there is a gestation period. Uh, whenever you deploy money, the project starts yielding returns one year after deployment or investment. That is one part. Coming back to the high interest rates, I think the high interest rates, as I mentioned, will be transient when inflation cools down. 
the interest rates will go down. These are typically 20-year mortgages, and 20-year mortgages does not impact if the interest rates are high for a year or two. Yes, it is an, a barrier for an affordable housing. Mm. We are the end in the affordable housing. We'll definitely look at his EMI and the uh, cost of uh, paying to the lender, and he may defer his purchase a little bit. Having said that, if you look at uh, who buys a, a dwelling unit for end use, when his job is stable, and he right. can see his income for 20 years. So if the funding winter has dried up for startups, it does not impact us because startup uh, employees of startups do not buy till their job <coughs> is stabilized. Uh, got it. I mean, I, I, I get, uh, we get that. Just one point, right? I mean, someone in a city like Mumbai bought an apartment in 2012, 2013. It took them uh, 10 years for prices to come back to their purchase price. I mean, if you're living in the house, they say you should never look at uh, what the price is. Uh, price is. But I mean, it's a good, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's wealth effect, right? I mean, to see uh, the the, pro, the you know the property value go up. Uh, we are now back back be, uh, back above the 2013 2012 peak in cities like Mumbai. Do you think from here prices will appreciate? I mean, just your view. I I, I get the disclaimer that when you're buying a property for you should buy it for use and not uh, speculation. But just wanted your view. So if you look at Mumbai data. I think the under construction unsold inventory is around 12 months. And if, the, you know, the buyers will always come back to the market, whether it is equity or real estate, when there is a fear of missing out. So if quality under construction unsold inventory is being, is limited, although the launches will subsequently increase because till last year there was so, a... So, yes or no, Amit? We are short on time. Yes or no? You uh, think prices think will be higher? To, end user has to buy because... Uh, prices will become higher more than the inflation. Okay. All right. Uh, you know, uh, we'll have a detailed chat later. Thank you very much for coming on uh, a quick chat. Good luck uh, with deployment of the funds. Appreciate it very much. We'll take a quick break here. Ranush will be with us for the quick trade setup on the other side. And of course, our technical experts will be uh, with us as well. Uh, the standout brokerage report of the day comes up with Nimesh a little later. Uh, as, and of course, the top uh, stocks to watch out for. Uh, post that so power pack lineup all the way to market open at 9 15.